In this video, we are going to talk about how to delete, add, and edit sandblast components on your monument. We'll begin with the classic design, D834 from Eternal Life. You'll notice this design includes multiple components that are not connected to each other. If they were connected, we would have to delete the components that are touching together. For example, you would not be able to delete one of the rings or delete the rows from the heart panel. You may only delete the entire component. Let's say you want to delete the rings and the ribbon in the middle of the stone and replace them with praying hands. You'll want to begin by making sure that your layers docker is open. The layers docker is typically open by default, but it may be hidden if it was hidden during your last session. To open it, click on the third icon from the bottom on the left side of the screen. Or you may go to view at the top of the page and check the box beside layers. Now you want to select the component that you want to delete. With your selection tool highlighted, as seen here at the bottom of your screen, click on the rings. A bounding box will appear and highlight the design. The components layer will also be highlighted in your layers docker. There are four icons to the right of the name of the layer. To delete the layer, click on the trash can icon here. You may also use the delete key on your keyboard after selecting the component. We'll do the same with the ribbon design. Select the ribbon, find its layer, and click on the trash can icon. Again, you may also use your keyboard's delete key. Now we want to find a praying hands design. There are a couple of ways to do that. First, you can browse our components. To browse or search visually, click on the hammer and chisel icon on the left side of the screen. You'll see our different component categories displayed. To find praying hands, we'll want to open the hands category. You can flip through these pages using the previous and next buttons here at the bottom. I'm going to choose DM056. Double click or click and drag the hands onto the screen. Then use your selection tool to place the component where you want it. Now I'll delete this component to show you the second way to find components using the search tool. To open the search tool, click on the magnifying glass icon on the left side of the page. Here you'll type in a keyword or the number of the design you're looking for. In this case, we'll want to type in hands for the broadest search possible. You'll see small red boxes with numbers appear beside some of the icons on the left. This shows you how many items meet your search criteria in each section. You'll see the number of complete monument designs that feature hands. You'll also see some results in the laser etching category. Since we're only concerned with sandblast in this tutorial, we will ignore results in every category except components, which is the hammer and chisel shown here. Then we'll select the hands category. This will also yield results that include roses with hands or crosses with hands. With 70 results, hands may be too broad of a search for you. Let's try a keyword that's a little more specific, like praying. This brings up only 9 results. If you compare 70 results with 9 results for the word praying, you'll see how choosing the right keyword can help you refine your search results. Once again, double click or click and drag the hands onto the screen and use your selection tool to place the component where you want it. Let's say you decide you want to make the hands corner carvings instead. Move the hands to a corner using your selection tool. Then, instead of searching for the same design again, you can find the component in the layers docker and click on the icon that looks like two pieces of paper to duplicate it. The duplicate will appear in the top left corner of your screen. You may also use Ctrl C to copy and Ctrl V to paste, just as with any other application. Drag the new component to the opposite corner using your selection tool to click and drag. At this point, you will probably want to flip the component to face inward like the other. To do this, you'll want to begin by making sure that your editor docker is open. To open it, click on the fourth icon from the bottom on the left side of the screen. Or you may go to view at the top of the page and check the box beside editor. 
Select the component you would like to flip. The editor docker will change to display options for the component. Below the dimensions, you may either check horizontal or vertical to flip the design. Now the designs are facing each other. The editor docker also gives you the option of making your component frosted or polished. You may also change the color of your outline to black, gray, white, bronze, silver, or gold. Another video will cover the steps necessary to precisely align your components using the ruler tool, grids, and alignment tools. Now you know the basics of deleting, adding, and editing components.